Hi everyone, in this video we'll go through the topic of tool geometry. The tool geometries can be found in two different places. One is in the scroll down menu here. If I click on the button I can scroll down all my tool geometries. The other place where you can visualize the tool geometry is from the part manager. If I click on the part manager, I see here the entire catalog of tool geometries that are used in this particular program. Now, if I want to look at my tool geometries more precisely, let's open the main program. I double click here and then I scroll down to look for the tool we use in operation two, for example, since it's the one we did edit previously. So I click on it and it opens a window. In this window, I can see T1201. The first two digits, 12, are related to the post I am using this tool. So in post two, the tool geometry name is 12. The next two digits, 01, are to indicate which geometry we use, but also it tells me it's a transversal tool or an outside turning tool. In the conventions used in TBDECO, 01 is for transversal tools. And if I look here on the next one, 1221, the last two digits on this one, 21, are for end working tools can be a center drill, a drill, a tap, a rimmer, or a, an inside turning tool. Any tool that are mounted longitudinally or on the end. If I look back to my T1201, I can see that there are already some default values for the geometries. In X, I have 151 millimeter. In Z, I have minus 50 millimeter. These values are standard values that will allow me to use the entire travel of uh, the capacity of the machine. We will come back to this in more detailed ways on the next video. Here, I have a radius of 0 0.2. By default, we uh, estimate that uh, we are using an insert with a 0 0.2 radius. Of course, this can be changed according to whether we have a bigger, smaller, or no radius at all. And if we are using a tool with a radius, we also have to indicate the orientation of this radius. We do it with the quadrant. So if I click on the quadrant here, it opens another window where I can see different quadrant orientations. And it's very easy to find out which one is the right one. If I look at this sketch here, I can see my axis coordinates and I can easily guess that for a, for example a front turning tool it will be quadrant 3. So I click on it and I say okay. It's very easy. So this is for the basic conventions on how to use the tool geometries. In the next video we will look more in deep into where these values are coming from and how to measure them on the machine or on the presetter. So I hope this content has been useful for you and see you in the next video.